y'all. Welcome to the castle. So it's kind of late, but I just got home and my dungeon in the box arrived. So it's time to pop it open. Ooh, okay. So maps are the first thing that's up. They look pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so on this side, what is this? A snowy town with a nice lake. Um, but on this side, one of the hells? Question <laughs> mark. Uh, I bet this adventure gets pretty crazy. Speaking of which, this adventure is the Riddle of Greyhaven. Uh, it comes with a double-sided city encounter map. Skinny mini, acrylic character monster token with bases, terrain tiles for city festival encounters, two or more blind boxed miniatures, and special legacy cards to shape your character's face. Okay, so here are the miniatures. Ooh, we got some monsters this time. Well, not... Okay, this is Pillar of Evil. Don't know what that means. It's kind of hard to see, huh? Still kind of hard to see, but Pillar of Evil. <laughs> and we have a Ghost Mini. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't want to stay on one side. But we have a Ghost Mini. There we go. That was a little easier to see. Those are exciting. And then we have these skinny minis that look <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, man. I like this one. This one also super creepy. Kind of love it. Kind of love it. Okay, let's look at these legacy cards. The Taste of Defeat. Oh, this is a sticker. Uh, defeat isn't a failure, not as long as I am able to learn from my mistakes. Once per session, one member of the party may gain advantage on athletic checks, as long as it's motivated by the fear of failure. Famous Victory. How did I win? I suppose I was just smarter and faster and stronger than everyone else. <laughs> Once per session, one member of the party may gain advantage on a social skill check as long as it relies on word of your greatness. As long as it strokes your ego. Let's see. And there's another map under there, too. This is the festival. Ooh. This is the festival tiles. So it has, like, a, some meat <laughs> roasting. It has some, like, stalls. I can't, it's hard to see in the plastic. But it has, it's still hard to see in the plastic. It has like stalls. There you go. And this umbrella tent. That's a tent. That's not an umbrella. This tent. Um, and then it has a stage and some seating. That's pretty cool. Okay. So that's the festival. And then there's one more map. Ooh, okay, so this is like a, I think this is where the festival is supposed to be taking place because it's like this huge plaza almost. And then on this side uh, is a chapel and a uh, house, I think. I think like this is the chapel, I'm pretty sure, because it like leads up to a thing. And then I think this side is a house. So it looks pretty cool so far. I mean, I don't want to wanna be able to fold this the right way. I'll deal with that in a minute. It's okay. <laughs> this one looks a little bit um, cool. I feel like it's, it's, I don't know. I feel like it's, it still seems pretty cool and I'm excited. I've actually been using the boxes from the last few months um, to store everything. So I have one that has like, the miniatures, and then I have one that has like the maps, and then I have one that has a uh, terrain, you know. So, and then one that has all the stories. I think I do the maps and the stories together because I only have three boxes, <laughs> but um, it's pretty cool. Um, by the way, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing. Well, I might be playing this. I haven't decided yet. But big old announcement on Twitch on Tuesdays at nine. Um, I got together a little D&D &D party. So, um, I probably, it's not IRL, so we're all doing it online, so I'm probably not gonna be able to use a lot of this. 
But if I decide to use this story, I can use these maps and stuff. Um, so I've been really torn between trying to decide if I want to do a homebrew campaign or if I want to do something pre-made, because I have DM'd a few times, but usually one-on-one -on -one and not for such a big group, because we have, like, four or five players. Um, four or five, I think it's, like, five or six, but not the point. <laughs> point is, I'm going to be DMing on Twitch, which I'm very excited about, so y'all can stop in and say hi. I might, if I do homebrew, I might have some polls in, uh the panels on Twitch so that you guys can help decide the party's fate because I think that would be kind of fun. Um, or if I do this, I probably won't have a poll because I don't want to change everything. But all of the player characters are coming along really well and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out to the castle. Um, I hope you enjoyed your stay and I hope to see you around in the kingdom on um, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, wherever it may be. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!